Following tabling of the Limpopo Department of Public Works, Roads and Infrastructure budget speech for the 2023-2024 financial year at Limpopo Legislature in Lubwahomu, Rao TV caught up with the Honorable MEC Mengkakareng Rahwale to get her perspective on the department's speech she had delivered. Her speech spoke to the Limpopo road infrastructure issues where she shared some of the successes and challenges that roads agency Limpopo, RAL, encountered in the previous financial year. Let's just use what we have and make sure that we cover where we can so that as and when we lobby for more money, we, we have spent what we have. But I think what is even more critical actually is that uh, we, we have just appointed about 41 um, engineers to design new 41 roads, which we are hoping that by the time we complete the designs, we'll be able to get money. And once we do that, we're able to run and make sure that those roads are implemented. And one of the challenges that we have as RAL is that most of the, 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 the roads that we designed, we know that many people who are saying we are having letters that are from RAL that are confirming that this road was designed. But we need to indicate that if you look at those, some of more than 10 years, which means we have to redesign the roads because looking at the price cost, the BOQs at that time, perhaps the kind of the material that we had to use at that time, we have to relook into it and check the kind of the bridges that we must construct on the very same roads that we'll be doing so um, people must be patient with us we know that people are saying why are you redesigning the roads that you designed before so people must be patient with, with us and understand that engineers are helping us to make sure that we are going to build qualitative roads that some of the roads that were designed before so those are some of the things that we, we think people need to look into so the money that we have is there but it's not enough but we'll see how to manage with growing calls for more roads the MEC implored the residents of Limpopo to exercise patience, citing that her department is doing its best to deliver on the much-needed service. She further advised Roads Agency Limpopo to use the entire budget for service delivery purposes, further cautioning that no budget should be returned to Treasury when communities are in dire need of roads. I think what our people don't want to see is us allocated money come the end of the financial year or returning money back to the national fiscals or the provincial fiscals. What the people want to see is that spend what you have and, and, and we must still use doing something. Let's see dust uh, on the ground and then when you tell us that at least you don't have money, we're able to understand that you don't have money but you can see. That is why in other areas they're able to accuse us and say this road was once budgeted for somebody ate the money and somebody must account. People don't understand that you can still plan the road but looking at the money that you get, you are unable to get that money. So but the mentality that our people usually have is that somebody uh, ate the money. Unfortunately you have to, for example we had COVID in 2019 so unfortunately all of us from national to provincial departments and municipalities we were directed to re-look into the budgets and then make sure that our people still get PPE, something that was never budgeted for by any department, any agency. So but we had to stop because we couldn't go down on the ground that there were lockdowns, so we couldn't go do the work and therefore had to redirect the money and make sure that our people as they continue to do the work, they've got pro protective uh, uh, clothing. But but that's a lesson that we learned. But moving forward, what we are saying is that we, we, we wish they can continue to be patient with us so that as and when we get money we were able to, to cover their, their, their needs. In his speech, the MEC also emphasized the importance of strategic partnerships, calling for more partners to work together with the department to improve the Limpopo road network. She noted the current RAL municipal partnership where the agency continues to assist municipalities with its technical capacity and expertise to resuscitate several residential areas and towns to their former efficient driving satisfaction and economic vibrancy. One other important aspect is the issue of the private partnership. Uh, you, we, we, we have got minds that are on board with us in, in different municipalities that they are able to come on board. I think it, it, you go to Baba Palabra municipality and roads that we have done together with the Palabra Mining Company and we continue to say other municipalities. If you look at just the bridge that we have just handed over two months back, a uh, uh, steel port, uh, the bridge, we are, we are, we are uh, improving it from one lane to at least the more than uh, two, two cars lane, uh, which is a mine that mines together, a uh, joint together coming up with that money because they are benefiting out of the very same road infrastructure. So what we are saying is that we still have other uh, stakeholders that we want to engage your, your agri uh, 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 um, um, 
agriculture um, uh, uh, farmers through their agriculture and, and forums. So we're saying their trucks are also using the same roads that we're using. We build the roads with a particular intensity, intensity, but as and when a truck comes, we budget for cars, for your car, my car, but as and when a truck that is carrying, I don't know how many tons, use the very same uh, car, the road will never be the same again. So when we talk about maintenance, as when the, the roads get uh, uh, potholes and others, they fold back and say this government must make sure that they deliver on roads. But mines are not doing that. Mines are saying we know our trucks are using these roads on a daily basis. But what we are simply saying is that uh, can't you at least uh, 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 we give you this and you see what is it that you can do and you are able to do. So there's a good story to tell of um, the, 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 the kind of, should I say, the, the, the contract or the service level agreement that we entered into with the municipalities in the province those that are from your areas of Muli Muli Mokopun they are able to tell a good story they are saying in town uh, 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 potholes are a story of yesterday you go to Bapalavura municipality you go to Musina you go to Fitaho municipality you are able to see what we are doing there so people are starting to appreciate that at least we are seeing the towns are getting because it affects some businesses in town there are restaurants there how do you park in, in front of a restaurant was the big pothole but once you start to address those things so we have done 10 this uh, previous financial year which the work is done is happening but as we'll be moving to the next financial year we'll then enter into uh, a contract with other municipalities to check if we can assist because Coxta has to make sure that they facilitate that kind of SLA so that we work together with municipalities and at the end of the day this accountability and there's no confusion on the issue of accountability overall the MEC was very optimistic about the prospects in her department and highlighted their commitment to deliver quality road infrastructure that connects communities to key economic sectors such as agriculture, mining and tourism in the province and beyond. Roads Agency Limpopo, together for better roads.